Hello everyone. While it be so nice to see you all in the library, I'm so happy to be able to read a story to you virtually today. So today we are going to be reading If You Give a Moose a Muffin by Laura Nurmhoff and illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make some more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother made. So he'll ask for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Then he'll ask you to help him make the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick up. So he'll ask for something to cover them. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember. He wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang up the sheet to dry. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of the jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. The end. Thank you so much for joining me for this story today. At the library, we do have some muffin kits for you guys to pick up. So please head on down to the library and pick up your take home kit. Have a nice day.